This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. IT skills are outdated in about 18 months. Stay ahead of the curve and future-proof your business competitiveness with customizable, entertaining training. Fill out the form at go.acilearning.com slash twit for more information on a free two-week training trial for your team. Right at the top of hardware this week, thought we would have uh, with you, Michelle, um, we, you and I, well, we were chatting last week before the show, and I think that the Tensor uh, G3, I think is what it's called, that the Tensor 3 news had just kind of leaked, and we thought, you know what, let's hold on to this until Michelle comes on so he can really kind of dive deep on some of this stuff. We've got new Tensor information We've got uh, that's coming in the Pixel 8. We've got the Pixel 8's camera specs, and it all seems to kind of interplay with each other. So let's start with the Tensor first. Um, the Tensor 2 was an improvement to the Tensor 1, but I would say by all accounts, it wasn't like a major earth shattering improvement. Does it seem like the Tensor 3 is going to be a much larger step forward uh, in terms of uh, what it's capable of in the Pixel 8? So the Tensor G2 as you mentioned, it was not an earth-shattering improvement over the G1, except for the upgraded modem, which was significantly better um, in many people's experiences. So the Tensor G3 will not be making any major modem improvements, according to this leaked, um, you know, this according to these leaked specifications from Android Authority, um, actually specifically Camilla Wojciechowska. Um, sorry if I mispronounced that, but uh, yes, this is a new report that details everything they know so far about the Tensor G3 chipset. And um, the gist of it is that while there aren't any earth shattering improvements in the Tensor G3 processor, they are making, they as in Google, are making substantial improvements to the um, CPU performance. So in previous generations, the CPU performance has kind of been generally underwhelming compared to other flagship chipsets at the time. The Tensor G3, while it's not going to be using, you know, ARM's latest Cortex X4, all those new CPU designs that they just announced like a couple of weeks ago, they will be using more competitive uh, CPUs. So they'll be using uh, some reportedly one Cortex X3, uh, four A715s, and four A15, A510. So it'll be a lot more in line with the current crop of 2023 slash late 2022 flagship devices in terms of mm. CPU performance. Okay. All right. So that sounds uh, very promising. Um, but this also ties into some of the camera news. I know that uh, the part of the leaked camera spec for the Pixel 8 had to do with 4K video, right? 4K 30, um, 30 frames per second, and that's enabled by the Tensor G3, am I getting that right? No, sorry, not 4K, 8K, sorry, got that wrong. 8K, 30 frames per second video capture, and that is enabled because of the Tensor G3. Did I get that right? So a little a little caveat on that, like as the report says, also from Camilla for Android Authority, both the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro will reportedly upgrade to the Samsung Isocell GN2 image mm -hmm. sensor for their primary. Um, this is a much larger sensor that supports up to 35% more light intake, so better low light shots. And as you mentioned, Jason, it does support 8K video at 30 at frames per second video capture. Wow. Um, but what's unclear is whether or not the Google camera app will actually allow you to take 8K video. So just because <laughs> the image sensor can process that doesn't right. mean that the camera app will let you do that. I mean, maybe... Maybe it won't because maybe Google is concerned. Maybe the device will overheat. I was going to say that device is going to get darn, darn hot. Yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's not actually available to users just because the sensor supports it. But it's there. But it's capable. <laughs> you know, at, le at least a developer option for those of us who like to, you know, fly close to the sun, I guess. Uh, what else do we need to know about this camera setup? I'm looking at the, uh, the diagram here. We had heard that there was going to be some sort of a thermometer sensor and it tur yeah. turns out, you know, at least according to this article, uh, it looks like that's going to happen on the pro on the eight pro. So if you need well, a thermometer, it is worth that. noting that this, you know, the, the author of this article is the same person who also previously leaked 
the existence of that temperature sensor. So it's not like uh, this corroborates that. Yeah, yeah, it's right. A good, that's, that's a good point. It's a good indication that it'll probably happen. But the other notable, the other noteworthy upgrade in the Pro model, at least, is the upgrade from the 12 megapixel ultra wide camera in the previous generation to a new mm. 64 megapixel Sony IMX 787, which I believe um, yeah. many have noted that the Pixel 7a uses that, I believe, for its main camera. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas the Pixel 7 Pro, sorry, Pixel 8 Pro will reportedly be using this sensor for its ultra wide angle camera. Oh, okay. And I've gotten really used to the Pixel uh, 7a main camera. I'm still actually on the 7a. I keep meaning to kind of transition to my next phone. I've got so many phones right now. Uh, I can't really <laughs> talk about them. But um, <laughs> so I have to transition off of this, but that's what keeps me there. Like the, the Pixel 7a, like it takes really great pictures. And so, so I guess uh, I will continue to, you know, not that I would doubt that with the Pixel 8, that the, the camera system and that the pictures that it would take would be any less awesome than what I'm used to with Pixels. That's one of the things I love about the Pixels. So uh, that's good news. That's the 64 megapixel, but binning down, right? Most likely, yeah. I'm, yeah. It's it's unclear if Google would allow you to take full resolution 64 megapixel shots. Um, yeah. It's not something they've done in the past for their uh, you know their high resolution sensors, so it's unclear if they'll do the same, or they'll actually allow it for users this time. Yeah. Um, another new piece of news about the camera: a, the time of flight camera that's included on the Pixel Eight is going to uh, see some improvements. An eight by eight time of flight uh, sensor. Um, yep. There's a lot of details in both this article and yeah, the Tensor really G3 are. article. Like, so I highly recommend you read over them if you're interested in the Pixel Eight series. Yeah, indeed. Good stuff. Good exclusives coming from Android Authority. Way to go, Camila. That is some good stuff. Thank Very you, cool. Michelle.